All right, traders, Mike here with the watch this video for uh, Wednesday, October 18th. My apologies, um, I, I typed in pre-market that I was gonna miss the open, but I should be there for the second half of the day and then never made it. I, I, I remembered I can use Discord from my phone, so I jumped on Discord sometime in the afternoon to let you all know I wasn't gonna be there. So anyway, my, apologize, uh, my apologies. Um, I also said though that I will be there for the pre-market and get a morning gap playlist together, which I did. And I was around for this, uh, Kevin P, pre-market trade. Now, I call this a reason to get up early every day, right? Um, put out SPRC is holding up well. Second mouse through seven is getting interesting, which triggered right there. And look at that immediate. Those are uh, five-minute candles. Yeah. Check out that immediate um, what's feedback, right, where you immediately get paid. That, those are the perfect inflection points, stat catalysts, um, in-play stocks that we look for. Great heads up by Kevin. So that's the only thing I am privy to from today because I was gone the rest of the day. So anyway, it's still kind of cool um, to see a great call in pre-market like that. Um, all right, so anyway, let me go into what I'm watching for uh, tomorrow. SPY gap down today, almost kind of put in almost a bullish engulfing. I don't know if it counts because it closed below that, but there's the intraday. So you had the gap down, looks like it rallied all morning and kind of rolled over in the afternoon. Again, I wasn't there for it, but um, this is the list of stocks I put together to possibly catch a trade in tomorrow. Uh, Tupperware, I like the three-day run here, then the two-day pullback, and then the gap up today. I think they, um, a new CEO, I think was the news. Uh, I hate that it closed at the low of the day, though. Um, but let me see, where did it top? Topped at 249. So maybe we get a gap up tomorrow, um, closer to 250. I would try a break of that 250. Um, but as you guys know how I trade, if it opens at 2 and runs to 250, I won't try a break of it because it'll be that too far, too fast scenario. But anyway, we, we can still have several uh, types of setups that we can look for in that one tomorrow. NKTX looks like it had a massive rip today, closing off of its highs, but definitely lands on the watch list. METC, nice breakout today. Um, we'll see if we get a follow through setup in that one. VFC, nice pop today. We're gonna watch that one. EH was on bounce watch today. Let me go to five so we can see what it did. All right, so pretty much took off out of the gate. Um, if you were playing a gap down bounce play setup, you would have got long right there. I don't know if anybody did. Again, I wasn't in chat, um, but I do want to go ahead and watch that. You do have a green candle now, but closed off of its highs. You could you could kind of view that with the mindset that, hey, maybe today it finally bottomed, right? After the gap up on good news, couple red days, and now it started higher. So it's definitely worth keeping on a chart. FNGR goes right back on watch for a possible breakthrough seven again. It never did that today. So it just goes back on the list. CMTL, um, looks like we put in another inside day. So a big pop, inside day, inside day. Still stays on long watch. USB, nice pop today. Maybe a follow through tomorrow. Um, that's a bank. HUSA, H, yeah, HUSA. I've been talking about uh, the baby oil plays. And when I say baby oil, I don't mean baby oil. You know, like baby oil that you put on a baby. Or do people put baby oil on a baby? I, or is it called baby oil for some other reason? I don't know. My wife uses it. I don't, I, I don't use it. I don't even like to touch the bottle. But anyway, um, small oil plays. Small oil and gas plays. Anyway, uh, you had a pop back here and it's kind of working its way back up. If oil itself takes off, you know, then this one and maybe INDO also worth watching. MRNA, uh, not a fan, but it could have a snapback bounce. It's getting kind of accelerating to the downside. Volume's growing. And you know me as a day trader, one of the things I look for, because I'm looking for things to give me a possible trade between the bells, right, on any given day, one of the things I look for is an oversold bounce. So MRNA might be getting there. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not, but uh, we're going to have it on watch for what we look for. CNK tried to bounce today, but closed well off its highs. I'm just going to put it back on bounce watch for tomorrow. Although I don't love it as a bounce play setup now, I would prefer, you know, another solid red candle would make me like it a lot more. So you can maybe, I'm on the fence about even calling that a bounce play or just put it on in the watch column, right? But anyway, GRTS um, is now down to the 20 day. As I said in the video last night, I believe they're the same spaces as Moderna um, as far as when it comes to COVID-19 vaccines, which makes me like it less because those numbers aren't looking very good. So they had nice news back here, big rip. Um, but anyway, you slice it, what, five or six days down in a row on lower volume after a big rip into the 20 day. I am going to put it on bounce watch. Um, <clears throat> and then lastly, LL, which is Lumber Liquidators, had to gap up on a potential buyout of $5, I think. Um, and it's been selling off ever since. So a potential buyout at 5 
and now it's down here at 3.33, that's back to the 20 day, um, it's kind of interesting to me for a potential bounce tomorrow. I don't love this list at all. I'm hoping we find some nice gappers in the pre-market to add to this list um, or some nice news plays throughout the day tomorrow. So anyway, we'll see, hopefully, right? Anyway, have a great night. We'll see you guys in chat.